We're back for season five. I'm gonna give you guys the best updated dribble moves for all builds in NBA 2K24. I'll also be doing a basic beginner's dribble tutorial at the end of the video. Without further ado, drop a like and let's get into it. First thing I want you guys to do is go to your controller settings and put your pro stick orientation on absolute. This will make it a lot easier to dribble and then put your pro stick function on default or dribble moves I prefer default. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over each move one by one one so make sure you guys pay attention so you can figure out which dribble moves are best for you in your play style okay let's start with the dribble style and let's talk about the topic of the season the Devin Booker dribble style this was extremely overhyped the normal speed boost is awful yeah it doesn't have a hitch but it's really slow and yes I know it has the very good front cross that you can see right here but it's like it's too slow yeah you get launched but the pro and LeBron on front cross is way better now for those who do not know how to do the left stick cross with this one specifically you're holding the right trigger the whole time and you're just moving your left stick like up diagonal left to right to the opposite ball hand and then on pro and LeBron it is down a diagonal left to right to the opposite ball hand if you are six foot five to six foot nine there is only two you're gonna want to use it's LeBron James and pro they both have very good left stick crosses but I personally like pro a little more now LeBron is a little faster statistically but myself and Joe knows both prefer pro over LeBron I don't know why I just like it a lot more now if you are under six foot five there's only one that you should be using and that is Kyrie Irving it is the best dribble style in the game if you do not have a 90 speed with ball you can try pro LeBron or Kobe Bean Bryant now for the signature size up let's check out the new one they added unfortunately it is not good it is just way too slow yeah it looks okay but it is not good for like being good at the game in my humble opinion De'Aaron Fox is the best one by far if you are trying to be meta and comp definitely put on De'Aaron Fox you can use Tracy or Dwayne Wade as well but D Fox is the best if you have a lower ball handle you can put on Giannis if you're under six foot five I want you to use Steve Francis you need a 95 ball control so if you don't get that you can use Derrick Rose you need an 87 and if you don't have an 87 you can use D Fox I actually like D Fox a little more than D Rose personally regular breakdown combo let's check out the new one unfortunately again it is way too slow I don't see how this could be good in a comp scene I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys there are not a lot of comp players that use the regular breakdown combo I'm using De'Aaron Fox but I rarely rarely ever use it so you can really use whatever you want but if I had to pick one is De'Aaron Fox aggressive breakdown combo the new one's not that bad you can do some decent combos with it let's check it out just because it has this first front between the legs right there if you know how to dribble you could probably make some good combos with it like this like you could just throw it in there here and there but for most people it's not that good okay I'm gonna be honest with you guys you should really only be using one and that is John Morant it's the best one in the game yes I know people say LeBron is good for getting crabs but you really have to be in specific specific situations and I don't get that situation enough which is why I do not like it your escape the most important dribble move in the game so pay attention please let's check out the new one Devin Booker please do not put this on it is not good I know I am making it look like it's okay but it's absolutely not good do not ever put this on please Quick question, do you think you know basketball? Well, put your money where your mouth is and try out today's video sponsor, Prize Picks. I personally think I have pretty good basketball knowledge, which is why I'm always doing the 100X entries. In other words, if you place an entry for $100, if you get all six players right, you will win $10,000. I wish my players who are stars would stop selling my bread, but we don't gotta talk about that right now. Prize Picks is super easy to use. You pick your sport, you pick your categories, you pick your players, and you choose if those players are gonna go more or less it is that simple and of course I got y'all with the promo code use young Dirk and click the link in the description and prize picks will match your deposit up to $100 so if you give them 10 they'll give you another 10 to play with if you give them 50 they'll give you another 50 to play with make sure you use my code young Dirk and click the link in the description and go sign up for prize picks 
Okay, for all guards, you really only got three options. Jimmy Butler, Kemba Walker, and Trey Young. It's all personal preference. Joe Knows uses Trey Young. I don't like Trey Young. I like Kemba Walker and Jimmy Butler. This goes for all guards. You can use any of those three. If I had to pick one, I'd say Kemba is the best of the three, and then Jimmy, and then Trey. But again, it's all personal preference. The good thing about Jimmy is you only need a 70 ball handle. Now for the big men, you only have three options based basic normal and Joel Embiid I would use Embiid or normal for the combo moves I used to think these were all trash but I got a new one that I've been using but first let's check out Devin Booker it's okay I can see you doing some combos with this I'll give it a 5 out of 10 the best combo moves is James Harden you can crab people with this like crazy De'Aaron Fox is another decent one to create space but if you are not using Harden the rest of these are just to combo with and look cute but i really recommend putting on james harden your running crossover is one of your most important moves so pay attention i'll explain more at the end with the dribble tutorial but they just added devin booker let's check it out the cross going towards the basket is okay like you know it's definitely usable it's quick but the cross to go out to three hunt that's where i think this cross could be very good your crossover you got three options kobe bryant it's the best of the three in my opinion De'Aaron fox and then John Wall. De'Aaron Fox and John Wall both need an 80. I like John Wall. This is what I use on most of my builds. Unless I have the 88 ball control, then I can get Kobe. You guys need to take advantage of your front moving crossover. Now for the big man, you got three options. Victor Wembanyama, that is the best one by far. And then a basic and normal, and you can put on either one. But if you got the 69 ball control, put on Victor Wembanyama. Behind the back, super, super important move. Let's show Check out the new one that they added. The explosive standstill behind the back is absolutely terrible. The running behind the back is good. It might get ripped, but the overall behind the back is not good enough to be in the comp scene. The best one in the game by far is Jamal Murray. I don't care what any other YouTuber says, please put this one on. All of the best players in the world are using Jamal Murray behind the back. If you want to get, you know, if you want to change it up and be different, you can put on Tyrese. It's a good one, but it's definitely not as good as Jamal Murray. If you do not have an 83 ball handle, put on DeMar DeRozan. You only need a 75. This new Kobe spin is fire. Let's check it out. The under the leg into the spin. Woo! I like it. I like it. For some reason, to me, this is just super clean. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I'm putting this on. I'm going to be honest. No elite players are using spins, but you got two options. Kevin Durant, you only need a 75 ball handle and Kobe Bryant. And I am putting on Kobe Bryant for a fact. This is fire. Now for the hesitation, you got three options. You got Tyrese Halliburton. It has a super clean like in and out and you can speed boost out of it or do a behind the back out of it. You got John ja Morant and you got Chris Paul. I was using John ja Morant. I switched to Tyrese Halliburton. I think this is the best one in the game because not only can you speed boost Hezzy out of it, you can actually do combos out of it unlike the John ja Morant and the Chris Paul. If you are a big, you really only have one option and that is basic. Your step back is one of the most important moves. So again, please pay attention. They added Devin Booker, let's check it out. It's not that bad. I could see how it could be used, but it is not nearly as good as the best ones in the game. And the hot back that it has is really not good at all. So I do not recommend putting this on. If you're under six foot five, use Stephen Curry, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I've noticed a lot of elite guards are now switching to John Wall because you can use this on any guard build. Now for all guards, I think John Wall is by far the best, but if you want to combo and look a little pretty, Zach Levine and James Harden are nice, but I really recommend just using John Wall. It is the best in the game and it has the LeBron hotback, which is super, super glitchy. I score a lot of points just off of the LeBron hotback. I'm sorry if I'm confusing anybody, the LeBron hotback is in the John Wall step back. All you do is flick down on your right stick without holding your right trigger. Okay, this is a beginner's dribble tutorial. If you want an advanced one, I will leave that in the description. I highly recommend watching the advanced one after you watch this. The first one we're gonna go over is your escape. This is your main move you're going to do to explode off of the dribble. You're gonna flick your right stick either up diagonal right or left to the opposite ball 
ball hand. And as soon as you do, you're then going to move your left stick in that same direction as the ball hand while holding turbo the entire time. And that is how you will get your explosive escape. The next move we got is the Snatchback. This is a great move to combo with and to shoot out of. It's super, super easy. You're holding your right trigger the entire time and then just flicking down on your right stick. That is literally it. The next move is your explosive standing behind the back. I shoot out of this move all the time. It's one of the best moves in the game. You are going to be holding your right trigger the entire time and you're going to flick your right stick down a diagonal right or left to the opposite ball hand. That is how you do the explosive behind the back. Those are your three basic core moves. And what I want you to do is just combo and spam those three moves together and you'll be able to create a ton of open shots and a ton of ways to get to the basket. Next move is your signature size up. How you do this is very easy. You are just going to flick your right stick in any direction and that is how you activate your signature size up. Okay, now for the crossover. Earlier in the video, I told you guys I was gonna explain why you have to put on John Wall, De'Aaron Fox, or Kobe because you can just get a ton of free buckets. Anytime you are slightly past your defender and you have an open space to the basket, I want you to hit Hit the crossover and it'll launch you straight to the hoop. To do your running crossover is very easy. While you are running and holding the right trigger, you're going to flick your right stick up diagonal right or left into the opposite ball hand. So if the ball's in your right hand, you're going to flick your right stick up diagonal left. The next move is the hop back. I have been throwing this in now with my combos a lot. I will pretend I'm going to the basket and then whoo, I'll hit the hop back and I will shoot that wide open three. How you do this, you are not holding turbo and you are flicking down on your right stick. Now keep in mind, this is connected to your step back and each one has a different hop back. If you want the advanced dribble tutorial that is on screen, I highly recommend you check it out. Hope this video helped you guys out. Drop a like if it did. Have a good day. Go out. <laughs>